I get asked all the time what my favorite Jeep is. And I mean, I understand that I have a lot of them. And honestly, for me, it's like, depending on what I'm gonna do. Sometimes I love my 715 because it's cool and it's old and it's got leaf springs on it. Sometimes I love my LJ that's basically a race car with a Jeep body. But for me, it's like my favorite Jeep is always gonna be the next Jeep that I plan to build. It just, there's always one more that I wanna build next. And whenever I start planning it and thinking of what parts I'm gonna use and what tires I'm gonna use, I get excited about it and then that one becomes my favorite. The original uh, guy that I got this truck off of, he had it on a Suburban chassis and his plan was basically, as I told you before, lower the body down over the Suburban chassis and weld it in place. And I knew that's not what I wanted, mainly because I want the front to be a lot stubbier and the Suburban's leaf springs, that wasn't gonna work. So I decided to put it on a Jeep JK chassis. This is a four-door Jeep JK chassis that I just got from a junkyard. I've had it as a roller for a while now. It's got some suspension underneath it, some tires and wheels that I don't plan to use in this project but it just helps me get it around the shop. The JK chassis is great because it's incredibly strong. There's lots of them out there and it's, there's a ton of aftermarket support for this chassis when you're talking about parts that you want to put on. And since I want to drive this thing a lot, it's really good base, I think, for this project. We're going to start today by dealing with a bunch of modifications I need to do to this frame to make it fit that Willie's body. It's pretty close, but there's just a couple things I wanna deal with. And the first is gonna be this rear bumper. This is a savvy off-road bumper. It's pretty cool because the way it works is the rear bumper has a whole new cross member, moves the bumper up, and improves your departure angle. But I wanna make it fit the body perfectly. So that means I'm gonna have to drop the body down onto the chassis, test fit the bumper three or four times, and then basically start cutting up the actual frame. In order to get this bumper to fit perfectly, it's gonna need some cutting and some trimming. The width is okay, but the height needs to be adjusted for the wagon's body, which means a lot of chopping on the back of the frame, along with some slight trimming on either end of the bumper itself. Front bumper is similar to the rear. It's a savvy off-road bumper. I've actually had it laying around the shop for a while. That's why it's got some paint on it. That's okay, because I'm gonna have these powder coated to match uh, the wheels that are at the powder coater right now. Basically, uh, I don't wanna have the winch out here. I really want sort of a really clean look on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bumper and I am going to French it back into place on the front of this rig. All that means is a whole lot of cutting and a whole lot of grinding. This show has kind of turned into like the savvy off-road show with bumpers both front and rear. And then the last sort of big frame mod I need to do is getting this gas tank skid to fit. This is a Jeep TJ gas tank skid. And I like to use these a lot because they basically take care of a lot of problems for you. Drop a TJ fuel tank in here, comes with the straps, comes with the mounts. If you can find a place to mount it in the rig, keeps it up out of the way and holds the fuel tank in place. My plan is to stick it right back here in the back of this JK frame. There are some body mounts in the way, but that's okay. I'll just chop them off. Isn't that cool? It's like it's meant to be in the back of the JK as soon as you remove all the body mount. All I gotta do now is uh, simply relocate uh, these body mounts from the inside of the frame to the outside of the frame. They'll sit right about here. 
And uh, the reason I dropped the body down was to check the space for the tank. And there's plenty of space. I'll even be able to run the fuel filler up over top of the frame rail. And we'll basically pull it up and we can put like maybe a little fuel filler, maybe somewhere here, or maybe a little bit higher up in here. But uh, the TJ gas tank skid, it's gonna fit perfect. And by perfectly, I kind of mean you got to chop up a little more of the frame to make it fit the Willys custom floor. But in the end, it's going to be worth the work needed to get a TJ gas tank in the back of this rig. Not a huge amount of modifications made to this JK frame to make it work with the 53 Willys wagon body. And I'm actually pretty impressed with how few changes I had to make to make it fit. I think that's really, really cool because the goal of this truck is to basically drive it a lot on and off road. I think the JK chassis, it's a great platform for that, no questions asked. It was definitely the right decision to modify the back and the front of the frame to fit the savvy off-road bumpers, as well as figure out a way to make this TJ gas tank skid fit. It's gonna be perfect on this rig. All I have to do now is sort of go over the frame. There's a few key items that I still need to cut off. There's a lot of factory exhaust hangers and then a couple areas that I still need to grind left over from some factory cross members that I cut out. But then it's uh, pretty much ready for some suspension and some axles, tires, wheels, put a couple sway bars on it, build some motor mounts, maybe a tranny mount, up there's a skid plate for that engine, obviously. You know, just a couple of things. But I wanna thank you guys once again for joining me here in the big tire garage, watching me build this bad old wagon. It's definitely been fun. I'm gonna enjoy an adult beverage after my hard work. We'll see you next time in the big tire garage.